What is up everybody, Hugo Nowhere back with another video and today we're going to be continuing our class overview for the game Outriders. This time around we're going to be talking about the last class in the game called the Technomancer. We're going to be talking about who this class is for, what the class focuses on, how to heal, and lastly the powers you'll be able to unlock using this class. But without further ado, let's just go ahead and just jump right into it. Who is this class for? This is going to be for people that are detail oriented and pay attention to the flow of combat to make it more tactical. This is for somebody that's also trying to fill the support role. Lastly, it's for somebody that wants to lone wolf the entire game of Outriders as it's probably the most well-rounded class altogether with a strong focus on snipers. This class focuses on summoning weapons that deal indirect damage to your enemies. It focuses on ordinance, gadgets, and last but not least, decay. When you melee somebody with this class, you're gonna apply the free status effect, which you guessed it, slows enemies down almost to a point of being unable to move so you could deliver your final strike. And the way that this class heals, remember Outriders does not have any potions or auto regeneration over time, so it does repay you for being aggressive when you play. And the way that you heal is you recover a portion of the damage that you deal to enemies. So the ultimate vampire class and now to talk about the powers you'll be able to unlock for this class starting with tools of destructions This allows you to choose between either a rocket launcher or a mini turret machine gun Depending on how you press the button So if you just tap it you get a rocket launcher But if you hold the button you get the machine gun instead next we have fixing wave which is a support slash heal ability for this class. This will restore health back to you and allies regardless of how far they are from you. Followed by the pain launcher. This is an automated defense device. It's a missile launcher that you place on the ground and focuses on targets. Next we have the blighted turret, which as the name says, you pretty much summon a turret but this time this weapon gives the enemies the toxic status effect which is pretty much poison next we have the cold snap this is going to be an aoe effect which freezes enemies in place the last three that i have for you are scrap no you're able to throw a proximity device and the explosion deals damage and interrupts the skills of enemies caught within the blast radius followed by cryo turret you place an automated turret that deals damage and inflicts freeze onto enemies the turret's health depletes slowly over time or when it takes damage and lastly we have blighted rounds this fills your current weapons magazine with decay infused bullets that inflict toxic onto enemies enemies within a small radius of the main target also receive toxic and 50% of the damage. This skill lasts until you switch or you reload your magazine. And of course, you'll be able to go ahead and upgrade these skills through the skill tree. And this time around, the Technomancer focuses on these three paths. Pestilence, which buffs the decay skill and increases the damage for assault rifles and sniper rifles. Then we have the Tech Shaman. This buffs indirect damage, such as turrets, your healing and your freeze effects. Last but not least, we have the Demolisher, and this synergizes with most of your skills. So it's an overarching branch, essentially, that buffs most of your abilities. And there you have it. That is the Technomancer class. Let me know what you think of this class in the comment section down below, and if you're going to be playing it. If you like this video, please go ahead and give this a big thumbs up. I would really appreciate it. But as always, I'm Hugo Nowhere. You stay golden, and I will catch you in my next video. Goodbye.